In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the binding for this journal and how I make the pages big enough to fit in the journal. Hey, and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And if you saw in a recent journal with me making bodies uh, for paper dolls, you saw that I had this journal that I wanted to make. So. I've already taken out all the pages. It was just a, a ledger journal. Uh, you can kind of see the pages had the lines with the blue and the pink. I'm like, is there a front or a back? I don't know. Oh, that is 6R. This is the direction it goes. So that's good to remember. So this page is in the back. I just left this page on here. It was already, it was like kind of taped down. There's some staples in here that I'm not sure why. But I don't know. I just did. And then... I'm gonna leave this piece here, but I'm trying to take out what's in the middle. And the reason I realized it was possibly upside down is because that's the top of the ledger paper. If that hadn't been there, I would have never known. So I'm just gonna trim this out of here and reinforce my, my, um, what is this called? Spine, that's what it's called. The thing on the back of your book that you put your signatures in is a spine. And if you're new, a signature is a group of pages folded together and sewn into a book. All books have signatures. So, not just journals, all books. So, I have already made these pages. Um, basically, I just collaged pages. I collaged to make them the right size that I wanted. This one could probably be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And I had a couple in here. This is what the inside of the book looked like. So I have a couple like that. Um, and then I have a flip out here, which is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. Do I wanna make any more? I don't know. This is like my practice journal for my, I mean, I could make the spine bigger and whatnot. But, and I can always do something different late. Like, it all, I can always take it apart later and do something different. So, also, I just really like this cover. You know what I might do? I might make it, um, like, sew this together. Like, fix this so it's not so messy. Sew this together so it's a signature. But then put in the, um, the eyelets and whatnot. Or, actually... I don't even want to do that. Oh, I got an idea. Okay, I need a piece of cardboard. That's as tall as that. <laughs> that wasn't quite tall enough. There we go. I try to keep the pieces that come in with my stencil so I can recycle them. So um, this is going to be the same width as what's back here. Which is right there. And right there. I hope that's the same all the way down. Also, I need to cut it shorter. I need to cut it shorter as in um, right here. I'll, a little shorter than the spine. You'll see. You'll see why. In a minute. In a minute. All right. Let's just pull this out. Might be easiest. on that side why wouldn't it be all right yeah I lost one of my markings but that's all right and this marking is up here I do want it to be straight all right um it's hard to see for that all right that's not gonna work for me going to have to use a different one. You do not have to have this many cutters. In fact, some people just use a blade and a knife and a, a self-healing mat. That's, that's a possibility. All right, where's my... There it is. All right, I'm going to have it straight, hopefully. And I've got my mark right there. Okay. 
okay. That doesn't even look straight, but never looks straight to me. I don't know why. And it might not be. Let's see. I'm going to be covering, I'm going to be putting like a piece of fabric or something over this bit, so I'm not too worried about that. I just want that to go in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just need to be able to fold it with it in there. It's my hand that's in the way. It doesn't even have to be the exact width. I think it's wider down here. It's annoying. Also, I'm not easy to fix on the We'll see what I'm doing in a minute. I know I haven't explained what I'm doing. I'm just doing it <laughs> and hoping for the best. Okay. Now I need to get in this top drawer here, which has my elastic. Elastic color won't really matter. Close that drawer. So I'm gonna set this in this drawer. It doesn't topple the whole thing over. So I need to go at least twice, maybe a little bit more, because I want to be able to tie it. And I could tie it and hide it, but I don't want to, well, actually, hmm. Anyway, what I want to do is glue it down in there and then have this come around here to be tied later on. So I think I'm just going to glue it, glue it real good. So that, oh, that's not the glue I want. I want, I want the stinky glue. There it is. The stinky glue is way down here. Why? I don't know. And I don't know exactly where my reacher, my, my tongs are right now. Craft room tongs are important. So anyway, if I if I just leave it untied, it's going to be easier to cover up cover the rest of this. So I'm just going to put a ton of glue in here. So much glue. It's getting on the side. We're not going to worry about that. We, we don't want to worry about stuff like that. All right, and then that's going to go down in there. I don't want it to move once it's in. Oh, and I'm going to put a bead of glue on the back of this. So it'll hold the other side of the elastic. I don't know if this will work. This is just something I thought of that I'd try. I don't think I've seen anybody else do it. But I wanted to keep my pages as tall as they are. So the eyelets were not going to work. Because then I'd have to cut all my pages down a little bit. And I don't want to cut my pages down. So I should pause while I have my hands in this sticky mess waiting for this to dry. This is going to take a bit. I should pause if I could see. Okay. Part of the problem is this string is like a millimeter thick. So I'm, I'm doing two pieces of cardboard on either side of it, which will kind of be about the same height-ish to hold it in. There, that's gonna work better. All right, I think that's what is required because this other piece when I was trying to glue now it's back everywhere else um I could feel this being quite a bit of an issue and now am I going to need to do those again I should get better adherence now and probably should have added more glue to that I'm not overly concerned um and now it'll keep that in the middle too so that when I have it around here it'll stay where I want it and won't be going to the right or to the left. All right, I didn't. All right, it's stuck down now. So yeah, so doing two slivers on either side of the um, the thing, the, uh, whatchamacallit, was required. I could have expanded this, um, yeah. In order to do that, I gotta take this whole thing off. tape under there is an issue um yeah I could have expanded my spine but then I'm gonna lose the width if I do that so I'm not exactly sure if I want to do that or not but this is all gonna get covered with either fabric or book binding tape or something 
so I'm not overly concerned. There we go. And because if I were to go out to, oh my goodness, everything's going to stick to me now. You can expand a spine if you, you know, open it up the widest it will go. Then I could expand it to the outside here where the original spine was, is he, is where. The original spine goes like to this section and to there, like that's the original spine. But I could expand it to where the edges of the book go um, if I keep it um, fairly flexible there. It will do whatever I need to do. It could be small or it could go a little bit bigger. So I think I've got some book binding tape. And I think that'll be the easiest thing. It sticks really well. Oh, which drawer is this? This is top one. Uh, or gaffer, gaffer power, it's called. But it's fabric. It's not this one's shiny here, which is probably book binding tape. This one's not as shiny. But it means that I don't have to like glue fabric and whatnot. Might put two pieces. Try to keep that somewhere. Oh, wait, are these the same? Oh. I don't suppose these tapes are the same here. Because then I could go there to there. People having a conversation upstairs like I'm not making a video. That's all right. At least my husband has someone to talk to when my dad's here. All right, that's not super straight, but that's all right, because I'm going to put another one in the middle. All right, you can cut a straight line, Darcy. Come on, it's not that. Well, it's harder than you think with this very sticky tape. Let's put it that way. It is much harder than you think. I wonder if ripping it would be straighter. gives you a fun edge too. Ripping it is a little bit straighter. Ugh. So I'm going to come to the edge over here of this. Well, it's not straight, but anyway. On the top, it's not straight. I'm not going to stress about it. Oh my goodness. Am I scaring you with my scissors? See if we can just tear that. Yep. Does it go over the edge a little bit? Yeah. Whatever. We'll just we'll just trim those off. Hopefully not cut that when we do. Oh my goodness! If stuff could just rip straight, that'd be great. Oh, these scissors work better. So I guess if you have sharper scissors, it helps maybe. And the, uh, the grandpa scissors were not working. <laughs> but my precision scissors are working a little bit better. I mean, not perfectly, but I'm not overly bothered and concerned about it. I mean, obviously I'm a little bothered and concerned about it because I'm trying to, oops, trying to fix it here, too. But if worse came to worse, I could just kind of take a blade and go lightly over it to try to get it. Which, of course, could potentially cut into the book, but I don't know. I don't know what's worse. I always just paint over it, and then who will know? I mean, you guys would know, but you know. <laughs> it's for me. It's a book for me. I'm not overly... Yeah, I could just pause and do that last piece of tape, because you see me do two pieces. Do you need to see me do... I'm just going to do another one in the middle, just to make sure... Thing. I probably don't even need to, right? I mean, just for aesthetics, aesthetic, aesthetic purposes, I might do the middle. So I'll be right back. Instead of pressing the pause button, I press the stop button. So you'll get to see the little shot cut thing down in the corner when I edit it to put it together. I guess I could even see if there's anywhere that could potentially be sped up. All right, I really should let this dry completely before I do this part, but I really want to show you guys 
what I had in mind here. Alright, that I'm just going to do a little bit of a snip on the tape there so it can go back above the other way. It's not because it's just because the cardboard didn't go all the way to the top up there. The tape went higher than the cardboard. If that makes any sense. And I'm gonna try not to be bothered by this wonkiness at the top and bottom. Alright. And let's see. I guess I'll just cut these. I don't know. Until I know for sure that's where I want it, I might just leave those. And then I am going to go ahead and sew this because there are times when I'm going to do something that is all the way this way. So I want it to be bound. So, and how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can always make another one and add more. And that's an odd number. I can be okay with that. Can I be okay with that? Surely I can be okay with seven. Seven's okay number. I'm usually an even number kind of person. Although if you guys want to see how I made these pages, I could do two with four pages, right? Maybe I'll do that. Go ahead and sew one together. And then, yeah. I'll make two signatures. The smaller the signatures are, the better, especially if you're going to be adding bulk. So I will do two full, that one's got a pocket, two uh, four page signatures. So this one will need one more page. I will take this one out as my template. And essentially that's just like what I do is I just use a template and then just start adding scraps. So if I can find some of my bigger scraps, this does not go with the journal at all. So I'm going to use it because this is for my paper dolls and there may be a paper doll that is perfect with having that in there. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle and work around that. Oh, and then I also have, whoops, this, which I can even do, um, cause you kind of want both sides to be a little bit decorated. So you, you kind of want to think about both sides when you're doing this. You don't want, you don't want to forget about the other side. You can always add pieces later. But, um, it's all right. So I'm just gonna glue here. Here, um, bigger pages just makes it a little bit easier. Is all. And so yeah, I'm just using my other page that I had as a template and just finding scraps. Um, and I'm not worried about what the scraps look like per se, just because, uh, oh, these are pretty. Um, when all is said and done, this will be, um, I'll, I'll go up here, maybe, or I'll go over here. There, that'll help connect that. Uh, cause, cause I, you know, I could be using paint and whatnot and when it all comes down to being finished. So whatever I don't like, I, or, and things are getting glued on it. You know, this is kind of a glue book. A lot's gonna get covered, so. Don't hate me, but a lot is gonna get covered. I never know if it's gonna go, which way it's gonna go. It won't matter. Just gonna glue this whole bit down. Might all get covered anyway, so why am I gonna worry about it? I'm not, she says. I should probably worry totally about it. How do I not worry? I don't know. I don't know how not to worry. All right, I'm gonna save that for the, actually, that might be, I'm gonna save that for the back side, I think. Ooh, we got some painty paper. We like painty paper. So let's just go ahead and Are we worried about the rip and the weird shape? No, nope, we're not. And also where we need to uh, glue, I'm gonna glue this edge here, not all the way to the top, and then glue over here. 
and glue that bit there. Um, oh shoot, I shouldn't have glued the top. That's, that's, ah, don't worry about that. It's only paper. Because I'm trying to get it so it's only glued on the papers that I have and not gluing it onto my template. That's all. I'm not overly concerned about that rip. We're not worried about it at all. We will cover it up in a minute. Maybe this one will be on this side. I'll just stick that right there. Hopefully you can see everything. I think you can. So yeah, if you want to make a big journal and you want pages that are the, all the same size, this is what you can do. You can just collage it to your heart's content. I'm going to put those in the back, I think. Oh, there's some more black and white. I like that too. Uh, let's see. Keep my template lined up would be nice. So that I have an idea of where I'm going here. And, you know, if I have more layers, it just means I'm going to have... Oh, well, that's all right. That went too far. Oh well. We'll just might even do this. Okay, did I lose my nope? Stick up barely straight. Can we stay straight on our template? That'd be nice. I mean at this point I could paper clip it and that would probably help a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean, jelly bean. I should do. I probably won't, but you know. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? A little, oh, here we go. That could be fun in here. Just right here, across here. Where's my ruler? It's right here. So then, just gonna glue out to here, up to there, just gluing the paper behind it. Oh good, we got more paper there to attach it to. That's helpful. The more paper you can attach, I mean eventually it's going to have the whole thing be attached to the whole thing, but when you're starting out, you're just kind of like, okay, let's hope that we can keep things together, you know? All right, need a piece here. That is not wide enough. That's okay. We can go ahead and just put that there. We can put it under here. Yep. Oops. Ah. So I am at least trying to keep it uh, with a, like a color. You know, the colors are somewhat. They work together. You know what I mean? You can go crazy. You can do whatever, and it'll still. You know, be fine. That back into the scraps. Let's see, what is that? Oh, a little piece of map might be nice. I got that little piece there. Ooh, that's a pretty gel plate. Um, oh, that would probably be actually pretty perfect for. right there probably gonna get covered with somebody's body anyway so we're not too worried about it but it covers ah, covers the hole and now we have glue on the back that's not what we wanted all right just wipe off the glue back there all right once we finish this other side we'll come to this side I got that last piece at the top to do so I just need a strip now. We got a strip in here. I mean, I could even look in my um, my neutrals. I mean, I have a box for neutrals, so that would work as well. That's similarly, similarly, similarly. It's 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 pretty close too. Let's just do that. So 
that's just going to get glued here, across here, and here. And I'll glue the bottom so that it attaches all the way. You can always glue corners and whatnot later. Let's see, is that straight on the bottom, straight on the bottom, straight on the top would be nice. There we go. So yeah, we, we lost whatever goes on the other side, I'll make sure it goes across. So it'll just be whatever's on the back of that in the end and it'll be fine. It'll be fine, perfectly fine. See, that the mat is gonna be also together. Why do I use a ruler instead of scissors? Well, for one, it's just faster. <laughs> for me, it's faster and if you do ink your edges, the ripped edges take the ink a really nice, actually. And if you have a tag, you don't have to use it as a tag. You can use it as anything that you want. I like those together. So, yeah. I mean, I guess you got the picture now of what to do and how to do the big, big giant pages. I'm sure you want to see how this one comes out in the end. Oh, I guess I didn't need to glue that very top bit, did I? Alright, what else? Got this nice fringy piece, which I might put here. It's a nice big piece. Or maybe I'll put it down on the bottom. Well, I usually like darker pieces at the bottom and lighter pieces at the top because it grounds it. But I'm not even sure which direction this thing goes anyway, so I don't know. Does it even matter? Maybe not. I'll just put it there. Why not? Like I said, it doesn't really matter. That's not bad there. It's got this sort of vibe going in for it. And then the piece I cut off could go up on the side there somewhere. Just kind of go across the bottom there, line that up, and pull that up, and glue this bottom bit down. I knew I hadn't glued it far enough down, but I wasn't worried about that. Then, you know, this could go somewhere over here maybe. Or I could break it up over here if I wanted to. Or I could just go back in the box. Why not? What else do we have for scraps? I already have, already have letters on there. Do I want to keep this one neutral? That's the question. We've got the browns, the reds, and the blues, and some pink. Maybe we'll keep it to those, those basic color ranges. Browns, blues, pinks. Um, that's not quite blue. Did I say green? No. You don't have to overthink it like this. Ooh. That can work. Because it's kind of a red. That'd be nice right there. And that's not the right blue. That, 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 I wouldn't like with that. Even though they might not even show next to each other, you know, I have to like be all weird about it, I guess. Why not put a check right there? That might be fun. It's a different pink. It's probably going to get covered, so I'm not going to worry about it. Why am I worrying about this stuff? I don't know. That's from Barbara's. Let's see. I could have just done a page with Barbara's stuff, too. That would have been fun. Barbara, 49 Dragonflies, I'm talking about. That's who I'm talking about. All right, I like that. That will work. That will work. Put that on the bottom here. Just gonna put it right there. Just the whole, the whole kitten caboodle there. It'll really strengthen the page. Also, I think it's like a 32 pound paper, so I don't know. It's whatever's in my printer when I print is what gets printed on. A lot of times though, what I like for, um, I gotta remember some of these probably want to go the other way, but that's all right. What I like for, um, I'm just gonna put that the whole thing down. What was I trying to say? Oh, what I like to use for journal pages sometimes is resume paper, even though they don't print as cleanly and bright. 
just like the feel of the cotton resume paper, you know? Just, I like it. Here we go. And now we have a page to fit in there. Woohoo! And that's how I do it. If I want, like, you know, if I want a big journal and I don't have big pages, I just make my big pages. Probably should wait for that to dry before I fold it. That would be the smart thing to do. All right, this is a little bit wonky. I might be able to fix it. In some, in some places, it's just uh, one piece because it was double-sided. And even though it's gonna be thinner there, it's okay, because more stuff is gonna be getting glued onto these, so it doesn't matter too much. And this one, whatever I put on here, is probably gonna have to go this way, because I've already got a friend there. I've got a pocket here if I wanna use it as a pocket, and this medallion here, so. But I did not know when I made this that it was going to be for paper dolls. So there's that. All right, that gives me an idea of when Folding it to the edge, kind of get it straight there, and where, where, you know I had it, I had it not that long ago, some people use scissors, does that scare you to see these scissors up in your face though, or maybe not, because you found out how dull they are, <laughs> they're long, they're a little on the dull side, oh, see that's not bad, Cross from there because he's got the orange on him. All right, one, two, three, four. That's not bad either. All right, how do those pages look together? Eh, not terrible. All right, so we got two, and I'm just gonna sew those together. And um, oh, I only have the one string, don't I? I should have put two strings in there. That would have been smart. How would I do that if I wanted to put two strings? Or I'll just make these one, one signature even. That's the potentiality, I could just make them one signature. Yeah, not sure if I like that. I'll just put that one. Put that one in there. For the in-between pages that are like, eh. Like I said, it really doesn't matter because this is gonna be would have been better to do two smaller signatures, but this will also work. So I'll sew those together and stick those in there, and then I'll be able to play with my, um, sorry that those stick out, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll trim them off later if I want them, or I'll have everything stick out and be okay with that. All right, um, I'm just gonna do like a, I'm gonna do a five full pamphlet stitch. I don't know. So you guys probably want me to do that if I'm gonna do it different than how a lot of people do it. All right, make sure my pages are all right side up and lined up the way I want them. And I don't have to do anything special because it's all, it's all gonna be together. Does that make sense? Like, um, what's, what's, what am I trying to say? I, I'm, I don't have to line it up with anything, so I can just wing it when I'm doing my, my cutting. So, let me grab out. I don't know why I keep using those drawers as a, as a place to put things because it's just annoying me. All right, let me grab a book. Okay, and go ahead and just put a couple of clips on these just to hold them in place. And the reason I want to do more stitching in it is because I'm going to be doing some that are go this way. And I want it to be nice and tight and strong, is, is basically why. All right, so we need an awl and some, also because I'll be doing the things in the middle, I'm gonna pick a thinner string. Um, you gotta be careful when you get the book binding kits in the, in the string that comes with them. Uh, not all string is created equal. There were some that I got that broke. So you can test it by pulling it. If you pull it and it doesn't break, then it's strong enough. But there was another set that came with the book binding kit that when I pulled it, it broke. So stay away from, stay away from those. But these ones are strong enough and I just want the thin one. And then I'm looking for, carefully looking for the needle. 
a tapestry needle, any needle that has a wide thing. Now this one has a duller tip, which is kind of good because I'm not going to split my string as easily, but also it's fatter. So then my holes end up getting bigger and I don't necessarily like that. So I actually want my my skinnier needle even though I'm more likely to split my string with it which I don't like. Alright, I leave that out because this is the one thing I put away every time most every time <laughs> otherwise it'll drive me crazy. You want three lengths at least one, two, I'm going to do four lengths just so that I have plenty. Alright, and I'm going to start on the inside I know I haven't made my holes yet. I'm going to string my... I should go wash the glue off my fingers. Probably driving you guys crazy as much as it's driving me crazy because it's not making my fingers look very pretty, is it? I don't want to get up. Next time I get up, it's going to be to go have my lunch, so... If I get up now, I'll want to go get my lunch and not finish the video. So let's just finish the video. Alright, when you put your holes in... You want to make sure your pages are all in there good, and you want to have this as closed as you can possibly do. Now, um, I don't need it to be, I'm doing an even number, I think. I think I might just do six. So I'm doing one at the top, one at the bottom, and I'm going to go in about an inch and a half or so. An inch and a half. I'm not measuring. I'm just another inch and a half or so, another inch and a half or so. And um, so you can see I've got six. I'm going to start at the bottom and go out. I first learned how to do this this bit this way. I saw Barbara do it on 49 Dragonflies. So, so then I started doing it for certain. Because she was doing it for a certain type of binding. Oh my goodness, go in the hole. And then, yay, it went in. It doesn't always... Make sure you leave a tail at the end. Otherwise, you're just going to be going through and through and through forever and ever. Amen. Where is it? There it is. Is that it? I think that's it. Are you going to go through for me? Nope. You're not. Sometimes when that happens, I just go back through with my, my all... And follow the all back through the hole, back to the middle. Because I don't want to be fighting with where's the middle. The middle is Waldo. Where's Waldo? Okay. The, the hard part is going back through because i got to be careful not to split the strings. And I'm, you know, having to go through a lot of places where there were strings. So, all right. Follow you back through. Here we go. Didn't do it. You would think once a string was through, going back through, it would be easier, but it's not always. Especially since you're trying to avoid the, um... Why won't you go... <sighs> I'm not unbreakable. I don't know why that song was in my head. When I, in the last video, when I was um, cutting things off off camera, and I was cutting up, I was cutting out this girl with the red jacket. Um, songs from The Greatest Showman were just playing in my head. All right, now I'm gonna go back down on the opposite side through all the holes, trying not to split my strings. I split the string. Hold on. I just need to come because it's it's a sharp needle that's why but I just went back through and unsplit my you know did it so I'm not split it and I'm gonna go back through in here <sighs> did not come out in the middle that's not what I want I want it to come out in the middle see it comes out like the next page over or something stupid like that it's just it misses it by that much there we go that's in the middle but did we split the string? That's our question. We're going to make sure we did not. Nope, we didn't. It moves, so it's not split. That's good. Okay. And then through here. It's tedious. It's annoying. It's frustrating. It's easier going out from the middle to the outside, though. Because, okay. Make sure we didn't split it good. We didn't split it. 
it's okay that they're loose as long as we didn't split it because we can mostly tighten things afterwards if we need to. All right, one more. One more. So this is not my most fun one to do as far as uh, um, stitching it in, but it's, it's, it's a pretty strong way to do it, I think. Hold on. Where did my all go? Nobody else gets that song when they say the word all. All of me loves all of you. All your something in your something. Do 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 do. Nope. There it goes. It doesn't always go through the first time. All right. I don't think I split it. I think I'm good. I think she says. Yep. All right. Now I need to make sure that it is. Now just remember that it is every other one that you're pulling on here. All right. I want to make sure they're tight. Are they almost? And then you tie it. Sometimes I will take this one up here and put it through that string up there and then tie it up here. Just because. And as you can see, I did not need that fourth length, but it gives me plenty to play with. And it's not like it's super expensive string, you know? You don't want to pull so tight that you rip your pages. You rip your holes. You don't want to rip your holes. You want it nice and snug and tight, but you don't want to be ripping your holes. All right, I'm going to tie it again because that hole, I don't, I don't want it going through the hole. I don't want to lose it through the hole either. I don't know. I'll just cut that a little shorter and put our, I'm not worried about that. Oh my goodness, why? getting caught on stuff. Oh, because he used those scissors to cut that sticky, sticky tape. And you'll notice I didn't use glue on the tape. That tape is, is pretty darn sticky. I'm not worried about using glue on it. Now, where did, is, did I just put the, I just put the, the needle did not get put in. All right, there's the needle. I did the string and the awl, but not the needle. And these just go in the drawer. And then this goes back down there. And this, if I had done two strings, then I could have done two signatures, but I did not think of that beforehand. In some of these places, I put like hidden pockets. Like you can't tell that's a pocket until I put something in it. So you could even like tuck something like way down in there and no one really know. It just looks like part of the collage. So yay, this book is done enough that I can start playing and uh, doing something with my Dolls. Now, what I might do even when I find a page for whoever I want to start with here, um, I may do something over the seam so that, where'd her head go? I lost her head. See, he might be fun with her because she looks like she could be a, that's why I wanted to do her in here because if I can do a top hat on her, I totally will. All right. Her. All right, her head goes that way. So if I want to break her neck a little bit, I kind of, well, actually, there we go. Kind of go like that, maybe. Kind of something like that, maybe. So won't she be fun in this book? Going this way? And then figure out the background and stuff. I just gotta make sure that where she folds is not on her face at all. I don't mind if she's folded on her body somewhere, but just not on her face. That would be unattractive to have a fold on your face, that's all. And like her. So yeah, I'd have to put her up up higher if I wanna put her this way. So that the fold is on her outfit. But then we could have like all flowers behind her or something, which would be really cool. And then this being just uh, a very neutral and even her hair, like, well, I do something with her hair, but I actually don't mind her hair like that either. Um, so this is all neutral. So like doing like big 
bold flowers in the background would be really cool. I mean, she can go this way too. I'd have to lose some of her. Yeah, I think I think I like this idea of doing her this direction, putting her kind of sort of in the middle and just having flowers everywhere. So yeah, these two girls are going in this book for sure and for certain. So that's why we have this little pocket here. I was gonna call it a drawer. We have that little pocket there just for that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you have a delightful day. Love you.